If you're a landlord, you may feel like the world is out to get you. For the last many months, you've lost the ability to evict non-paying tenants, and there's a common feeling that tenants can't be evicted in any case. I'm going to show you how you can resolve some of these challenges and get your real estate working again. Investing in real estate is a great wealth building strategy and it's worth spending a couple of minutes here to talk about how to take your profit or equity from your investment. I'm Ken Krotz, a managing broker at eXp Realty and a 35 year veteran at real estate brokerage and investing. I've also graduated from the Real Estate Institute of Investing. As a property owner myself, I see the unfair burden that's been placed on landlords in carrying the, the economic responsibility during this pandemic. There are many cases where a landlord or property owner may want or need to sell their property. The home may have been a primary residence for you and you're coming up to the two year limit on the five years to avoid paying capital gains. You may want the equity for other property other, or other investments or any of the other purposes you deem appropriate as the owner of the real estate. I'm going to show you that in Washington State there are some exclusions to the eviction moratorium. It's clearly referenced in many times in the proclamations by the governor and the extensions to those moratoriums on evictions. I'm not a lawyer, so please seek legal advice before pursuing any actions with your tenants. I can also refer, refer you to attorneys with expertise in this particular area here in Washington. In situations where the viability of your investment is at risk, you may find that selling a property is the best way to extricate your equity to save it from being lost to mortgages, utilities, and repair expenses. Many landlords feel that they cannot sell their property because of the eviction moratoriums. That is not the case. You cannot evict a tenant for non-payment of rent. That is true. You can sell your property in Washington if you make the proper declaration that you're going to either move into the property and occupy it or you plan on selling it. That does not mean that you can say you're going to sell a house, evict the tenant, and then re-rent the property. You would likely find yourself in hot water if you did that. But if you need to sell your property for whatever reason, you're able to do so. A 60-day notice is required in order to complete the eviction and the sale will take 20 to 60 days to effect. So this is not an overnight process. If you're like most landlords, you'll want to talk to the tenants and take them into consideration through the process as well. It's the right and legal thing to do and does need to be handled properly to avoid problems. It's worth doing your homework in advance to improve the process as well. Pre-planning and review of your property as a real estate investment and determining if selling is the right thing for you should be carefully weighed. If you'd like to talk about your property uh, that you own or you have questions in your general, just click the link below here and pick a time on my calendar that we can chat. We respond quickly to calls and e uh, text messages as well. While this advice is generalized, I know that your situation is special and unique to you and that you'll be looking for good, honest advice. I hope you found this information helpful and look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.